Hey, welcome back to another edition of Babyface Brew Review. My name is Alex. I'll be walking you guys and gals through this review for the next few minutes here today. As you can see on the, the bottle on your screen, excuse me there, uh, we're going to a very special beer and a 2018 very limited release from Bourbon County Stout. This is uh, one of eight uh, Bourbon County Stout uh, brand stouts that they will release this year on Black Friday. And I just happened to stumble into my local bottle shop where they've got uh, a couple cases of this beer, which is the Bourbon County Stout uh, Bramble Rye Stout, which is using uh, adjuncts of blackberry puree and raspberry puree. And the other one was the Bourbon County Brand Stout Midnight Orange. Uh, picked this one up. It looked uh, really interesting to me. This was actually originally packaged back in 2011, and they're re-releasing it now, uh, seven years later in 2018. So some really cool and exciting stuff in this beer, and we'll see what it holds um, for us as, as we drink through it in the next few minutes here. Uh, getting into the specs of the beer, 12.7% alcohol by volume, 60 IBUs. They're using Columbus hops uh, here in this beer. That's the sole hop used uh, in this varietal. Uh, as for the malts, two-row caramel, chocolate, uh, debittered uh black malt along with uh, a little bit of Munich and uh, roasted barley and some rind. So awesome stuff. I'm not sure about the barrel characteristics that they're using with this one, Heaven Hills, what it might be, uh, but definitely rye barrels for this bad boy from what they're saying. Uh, as for the accolades of this beer, getting into Beer Advocate, 4.3, 6 out of 5, putting in that outstanding category from the folks on Untap, 4.3. 3, 3 out of 5. So some really solid stuff. Not as high maybe as some of the other Bourbon County varietals, but very interested to try. Had the Northwoods last year. Check it out on the channel. You could see the review there. Uh, felt that kind of blueberry puree that they're using was very, very sweet, and I'm interested to see how they're, you know, use it in this one, obviously. See if that rye kind of counteracts some of the spiciness. Bottling date today on this beer is August 23rd, 2018. Uh, we're the first week in November here, so really uh, super stoked just to see this beer and be able to get it, uh, but obviously been sitting around and um, for a few months in the um, you know Chicago warehouse there at Bourbon County or whatnot, so without further ado, let's crack the cap <laughs> on the 2018 uh, Bourbon County Bramble Rice Stout. Ooh, wow. Look at that, I'll get that up close there. You can kind of see those hints of like that almost red wineish, purplish coloring there from the beer. Wow, uh, no carbonation. I mean, there actually is carbonation to this. There's no head, excuse me, but there is a little bit of active carbonation for a 12.7% beer. Almost kind of pouring like an inky black in the glass. You can see a little bit of like these uh, dark purplish hues um, you know, as I was pouring the beer, but definitely that that jet opaqueness uh, is overpowering any sort of coloring from the the raspberry and blackberry puree. Really nice. You could see the alcohol legs in the glass here trickle down. There's really not much in the way of a head on this bad boy. Poured it very very uh, mild in there too, not an aggressive pour, but really nice looking beer in the glass. Very very opaque and black. Let's get into a smell and aroma on this. Wow. <laughs> wow, I mean, the, just the complexity right up front. It's like, okay, which, which characteristic am I picking out? I get huge, rich chocolate. I get roasty espresso notes. I get fruit. I almost so get some, like, sherry and port-like aromas as well. Really interesting stuff. Brownie batter. I get some walnuts and burnt toffee. The rye whiskey eventually comes out in this as well. Kind of rounded out that sweetness. Very, very complex. Really, really interesting smelling stuff. That is that is a hell of an aroma. Okay, well, obviously, palate's watering. We're ready to go. Cheers, press the value, you want to call it. Let's dive into the uh, Bourbon County Bramble Rice Stout.
it's friggin' complex. I mean, it is like going in a lot of different directions, but as you drink more into it, it coalesces really, really nicely. Okay. Before I get tanked. Um, boy, up front, I don't even know where to go with this one because it's like I get huge roasty espresso notes like really up front, but that bitterness doesn't come until the back end. We'll talk about that, but I mean, big roasty notes, you get that rich kind of like chocolate malt that you're always, you know, getting from the Bourbon County uh, varietals. You get that rich kind of brownie batter, um, you know, cocoa kind of chocolate note hanging out there and then as it passes by then you start to get the big slap of like smucker's jelly like raspberry blackberry jelly puree like you you definitely get that and it it hits hard and it's it's pretty sweet for a minute but then the rye spice kicks in and it's like rye spice is here um so you get that that rye barrel first of all you get a little booziness from that rye whiskey barrel and then after that kind of counters at, counteracts, there's like a tartness that pops back up again after. So it's like this fight, and then you get the tartness, and then after that, you get, <laughs> I know, then you get this like really espresso, chocolatey, bitter note that, that powers through all of that. It might even drive throughout the whole beer, but it kind of comes in this roller coaster wave, all these different flavors and stuff. Um, so it's so complex, it's rich, it's robust, it's uh, like crazy just melding of all these flavors. Um, it's really hard to figure out like because it pulls you in different directions. I gotta take another sip. Yeah, I mean I get boom, rich espresso, like a really roasty espresso up front. Then I get the raspberry smuckers jam then i get the um that rye spice that whiskey then i get coffee and chocolate then i actually get more of like the sherry toffee caramelly port finish on the end like just really faint ever so much so it's really interesting how this like all works together it does i mean it is complex some people will look at this and go Ugh. yeah but if you you understand how you know certain beers drink and whatnot and um how the malt foundation counteracts with the hops you will and, and then adjuncts as well you will thoroughly enjoy this beer this is really really interesting getting into aroma um because i know we're talking a lot here but or excuse me getting into a, a feel a mouth feel on this one it is full body it is full body on this bad boy there's a kind of a little bit more of a lively carbonation than you would on the regular bourbon county the brand um the barley wine and then the um you know the coffee any other variety I, I think that I've had. I This one is a little more of a prickly carbonation. Those other ones feel, I mean, this still feels like sludgy, but it's not like those other ones. So with that said, really robust, really rich. Um, it is very drinkable. Alcohol is pretty well hidden for 12.7%. Definitely get some of the rye barrel in there, no doubt about it. Um, there is a stringency, kind of like this um, pectin, like a stringency, you know, like, you get with fruity characteristics from um, jams and jellies almost. So th there is a little bit of that, but it's not overwhelming. I think the rye balances out, and so the bitterness from the coffee and the chocolate, you know, at least the chocolate malt. Um, so, yeah, for whatever that's worth, this beer is, is I, I, I'm a fan. I think it's pretty awesome. So as for a grade, I'm going to go with 96 out of 100. I think to some people they will be overwhelmed by that blackberry and raspberry puree but drinking into it you will understand why um you know with all that the other uh components of the beer the malt and um you know some of the espresso notes how that balances out so 96 for me but that's what matters it matters what you guys and gals think so you can let me know in the comment section down below did you love it did you hate it what did you think of the 2018 bourbon county bramble rye stout leave it all down below i'm sorry this review took so long but until next time guys appreciate each and every one of you let's keep this thing growing together we're almost to a thousand subscribers see y'all again on bay facebook review